division. They're a fascinating team. Yeah. Because they're in a spot where they're probably not a title contender. They are a fringe playoff team. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are well into the luxury tax where any dollars they can save are dollars that they are going to be willing to save. Yes. And that might be the goal this offseason more than trying to uh, construct a championship roster. So uh, with that in mind, we've got a few names here. Moses Moody. Yep. Gary Payton II. Okay. Clay Thompson. We'll ask about. Uh, and Kevon Looney. Let's start with Clay because I think we can, for the most part, take him off the table. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be so incredibly difficult for the Kings to figure out a deal that made sense. Because if he's leaving Golden State, it's because he's getting paid, paid. Yes. He's getting like 28 or 30 million a year from Orlando. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I think that that's the case. Like, I think Golden State might stay in the like 15 to 20 million dollar a year range for him. Mm-hmm. And he might be back there. Mm-hmm. Um, but that still puts them in a very, very bad situation with their salary cap. Yep. They're trying to get below the luxury tax because they don't want to be the repeat offender and then start losing draft picks. Mm-hmm. And I think they're at 175 million right now. That they can shave that down pretty quickly, um, and they have some mechanisms to do that. Yeah. Um, I don't think Clay's an option though. No. I'm taking him off. Yep. What about Moses Moody? I dude, I, I don't know. It, it, I don't know where Golden State sits with Moses Moody. He's not a regular piece of their rotation, but every time he plays, he's just really effective. But he can't get regular minutes. Hmm. So maybe, <laughs> maybe they'll move him. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for. I think he'd be a really nice fit for the Kings, though. It's tough. Every time I watch him play against the Kings, I, I just keep wondering why he's not playing the whole time. Every time he plays, ask any Warriors fan. Every time Moses Moody gets on the court, it's like, oh, hey, that went well. Yeah, wow, he's really good. DNPCD next game. Like, like what in the world just happened? Did he kick so, someone's dog? I don't know if, like, he, maybe there's a, a problem with the way he practices. Maybe there's a problem with, like, personality off the court. Maybe. Maybe he's a like a player that doesn't strike someone as a high basketball IQ player, and then he gets on the court, and you're like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. He's also like, as far as defense, he's not as good defensively as some people think. Yeah, um, he's, he tries really hard, but like laterally, he's not super quick. Yeah, he's probably more of a small forward than he is a uh, a shooting yes. guard, and and that's a problem. They have not used him like a lot at that position. Mm-hmm. Like, look, I think he should be on the list. Uh, he's, you know, right around 6'5", 6'6", mm. uh, and he has a 7-foot wingspan. Like, this is a type of guy, the long athletic player that the Kings are looking for. He can really shoot the ball three, and he could develop into a 3 and D guy mm. uh, in the right system. And Rebounds like, like crazy. Yeah, I, I'm okay with him. I, I think he, he makes a lot of sense to me. Um, but what do they want, and how many, you know, people this- out there believe that he's a a better player than he's been. So he has one year left on his deal and then he's a restricted free agent next year. Yeah. And my question with Moses is what, what is, is what we just said. Why isn't he playing more for a team that could absolutely use him? Yeah. And that's, that's kind of the question. Maybe it's a positional fit. Maybe it's, I don't know, but I'd be, I'd, I'd make a call. Yeah, sure. I think it's 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 kind of the same thing like with Nasir Little. Like, why didn't he play for Phoenix when they needed a long, athletic, small forward that can defend somebody? Yeah. And so when it comes to him, like uh, he's he's owed five point eight million, and then again, you can work work on a rookie extension either now or wait until next off season when he's a restricted free agent, and you can match any offer. Yeah. But they've hurt his value. I don't even know what you what they would expect and trade for him. I mean, you could. You could no trade clue. half of your mid-level exception for him. Uh, so six million bucks, create a six million dollar trade exception for the other team, mm-hmm. and then maybe give them two seconds. I, I don't know what it is that they I want. Have no clue. But like I'm confused because they've damaged his value on the open mm-hmm. market for even for their ability to trade him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I think Gary Payton the second would be a really fun ad for the Kings. Hmm. And he has a $9.1 million player option for this year. I'm ge- guessing he'll pick that up. Um, I think Gary Payton II could help like every team in the NBA. Yeah, I think so too. I just, it's whether or not he can ever stay healthy. Sure. And that's, that's always going to be the problem. But I'm not, I, I'm not asking for him to start. I'm not asking for him to necessarily even play 20 minutes a night. Yeah. There's going to be some nights where he gives you 18 minutes. There's going to be some nights where he gives you four. But, 
what he does at the point of attack as a defender, what he does as a as a lob threat, as a rebounder, even at his side, he plays so much bigger than six two. Yeah. He's a really, really good good player. Yeah, I think as a short term, like, hey, we want to go all in on this season. Like, can we Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he has a, a player option at eight point I think it's eight point one million. So again, if the Kings were to like look at a trade where you were trade like Chris Duarte and again, they would maybe stretch provision Chris Duarte and they could go from an $8 million salary to a $2 million salary. Uh, and then they would have to string it out. They'd pay 2 million bucks a year, but that $6 million in savings might be exactly what the golden state warriors are looking for. Mm -hmm. And this is one of Mike Brown's guys. Yeah. So uh, it, it's just whether it hurts the development of, Keon Ellis, whether it hurts the development of Colby Jones, whether the Kings think that either one of those players can develop into something that you would kind of be taken away from. And you have to remember, he's only six foot two. So he, he plays so much bigger than what you mm -hmm. think, but he's not very big. So I, I could see him as like a really, really solid replacement for Davion Mitchell. If Davion mm -hmm. Mitchell went somewhere mm -hmm. in a trade and playing alongside Malik Monk, I think would be Definitely. brilliant. Yeah. And, and even some minutes alongside De'Aaron Fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And people would love him here. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. bust his ass every time he's on the court. Love yeah. GP2. He's fun. Uh, and then Kevon Looney. You've talked about Kevon Looney before as a possible backup big. Yeah. For the Kings. So and again, I, this is again, this is with the caveat of no idea what Golden State's plan is this offseason. Yeah, I mean, I think Golden State they have a eight million dollar salary for uh, Looney, but they can they have a three million dollar like they can buy him out for three million bucks and waive him. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna guess that that's what's gonna happen, and then he's gonna be available for probably the veterans minimum. Man, and so if I'm looking at him as a player, like, would you rather have him or Alex Lynn, um, or would you rather have both? Because in a, in a we're, sure. weird world, you could have both of them where you just sign guys and you know in case of emergency he might not have anything left in the tank but again a mike brown guy who mike brown tried to get here mm -hmm. uh when the kings signed rashawn holmes and you know that whole deal they they tried to get him here maybe it was a uh, um the next year mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah. yeah yeah they they uh mike brown wanted him here oh but he decided to give rashawn holmes a shot instead right. uh and that didn't work out a, a, at all mm -hmm. so yeah man loons the man just knows where to be. Can pass. Great defense. passer. Great rebounder. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, I don't want to say great, but really good offensive rebounder. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, sure. I think he'd be interesting. He also uh, just a guy who can come in and pop somebody and who doesn't mind playing 14 minutes a night. Yep. Yeah. Yep.